Hi, I'm Daphne Richards and this is Augie. Our question this week is actually an answer from Christina Pasco on how she's protecting her peaches this year. She tagged us on Twitter and we just love the way she's resolved this common problem. So we wanted to share it with you. Like most of us, Christina tried the recommended way of dealing with critters last year. She covered her plants with netting, but the netting quickly became a hot mess and after having daily altercations with it, she decided to try something new this year, plastic strawberry containers. This peach tree is only two years old, but was covered in fruit. Wanting to keep birds, squirrels, and other animals from stealing her harvest, Christina be began collecting strawberry containers a year ago, so she'd have plenty when she needed them. Using kitchen scissors, she cut extra holes for ventilation and for rain. Christina reports that these containers work great, but you might need larger containers like those for salads for larger branches. Electrical tape was used to secure the containers after she noticed that crafty squirrels had figured out how to open them. When I first saw Christina's photos, I was curious whether this system really worked, since it seemed to me that the container would hold too much moisture and probably cause the fruit to rot. But Christina says that's not the case, and that she's been very successful. She does suggest checking the containers frequently for ants and other small insects in case they get trapped inside. Thanks, Christina! Our plant this week is coleus, a tropical annual that's well worth the effort of replanting every year. The species is variable, so you could potentially plant an entire landscape of it and have dozens of plants with no two looking the same. The vibrant foliage comes in patterns of almost every conceivable color, from neon pink to bright orange, deep magenta, lime green, and everything in between. Hardy only to zone 10, coleus is a true tropical species that will die each winter in the landscape but would survive easily in containers moved into a greenhouse. It looks great in containers and hanging baskets and performs best in bright shade. There are a few newer cultivars that are labeled sun or super sun coleus, but even those will be happiest if protected from the harsh afternoon rays here in the south. They do require adequate moisture, so plant in beds close to the house where they can easily be given a bed of adding compost to beds prior to planting will also help increase water holding capacity as will an inch or, so, inch or so of mulch around new transplants. Plant in masses for a swath of color, even using three or four different cultivars in a single bed since they look so different from each other. Or use coleus in large containers to draw dramatic attention to front entrances or patios. In addition to the wide variety of colors, coleus are also available in all shapes and sizes, so you can plant tall ones in back, short ones in the middle, and super short ones in the front. Coleus are some of the easiest plants to propagate from cuttings, so if you've always wanted to try your hand at plant propagation, cut about several 6-inch pieces of new growth and place in a small container of good quality potting soil. Our viewer pictures this week come from Catherine Hart of this cicada and from Mary Alice Lance of this monarch caterpillar on her tropical milkweed that didn't freeze back this year. We'd love to hear from you, so please check out our website at klru.org to send us questions, pictures, and videos from your garden. Mm -hmm.